Hello, Aruku here. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy. Uh, last time, we defeated Garland and the King of Cornelia built this bridge for us so that we may continue our adventure. So from here, there's a cave to the north called Matoya's Cave. It's completely optional at this point, but I'm going to head there first. Just because there's a couple chests and, you know, why not? Here's a broom that's moving all by itself. Flipper over, flip, flip, electric, da, na, tarats. Tarats. Hmm. Ow. The crystal eye. The crystal eye. Ow! Curses, I can't see a thing without the crystal eye. Who on earth stole it away from me? Alright, so this Matoya guy is missing his crystal eye. Flipper over flip flip. Electric da na threats? Threats? We can't really do anything for him yet, so we'll come back later. But first, I'm going to go loot his chest. Antidote. And a couple potions. Alright. So what those brooms were trying to say was um, backwards for start and circle. So let's see what happens when I press the start and the circle button. The world map! That's pretty much all it does. I mean it's cool but...
and here we are in the city of Pravaka. Now there's not much to buy here, especially since the town we're going to go right after this has much better stuff. So I'm just going to buy some basic stuff. A lot of stuff. Um, I'm just going to buy some leather gloves for the defense boost. It's only one defense, but it's better than nothing right now. Another thing, I'm not even going to worry about buying magic in this uh, town, city, because none of it's really that great. So. One thing I do want to get though is a broadsword for my warrior, so I'm going to visit the weapon shop. And then after that, I am going to continue on. I could buy the skimitar for my thief, but like I said, in the next town there's going to be a lot better stuff, but it's all going to be way more expensive, so there'd be really no point to go getting the skimitar now. Say, I don't think you know who you're talking to. Yar. I don't think you know who Yar are talking to. Okay. Fellers, teach these guys how to respect the great pirate bike. Aye, aye, boss. We'll take care of them. Really? That's a lot of pirates, but luckily they're not that strong, and I have sleep. Make this battle overkill. There's no kill quite like overkill. As you can see, they start to drop like like flies like, once they're asleep because they can't fight back. So much fun. All right. Oh, I'm sorry, sirs. Won't do no bad from now on. I swear. Here, take my ship. Your ship? Really? I think that's probably the easiest way to ever get a ship in a video game. Like, ever. Right. Well, now that we got a ship, Let's go check it out.
this is the next town I wanted to go to. But like I said, everything here that I need to buy is way expensive. So what I'm going to do is run around and level up and collect some gill. And welcome back. As you can see, I am now level 8 and I now have over 15, 18. 1800 gill. 18, 115. Or 18,115, if you would. Now, I'm going to show you why I needed to gather this much gill. Because there's a mithril sword down here for 4,000. It's ridiculous. Now, I'm going to buy the saber for my thief. Which is why I didn't buy the scimitar earlier, because I was going to get this. Alright, another thing about this town, Elfhelm, there are four magic shops. There's two white magic shops and two black magic shops. So, yeah, there's a lot of magic to buy here. First off, I'm going to get Cure 2 and Dia 2. I kind of want Null Fire, but that's not really necessary yet. I might come back later for it. And the only black, third level black magic spell I'm going to get right now is Fire 2. Because, yeah, that's all I need. Next, I think I should go get some defense. So let's go to the armor. Now I want to buy the steel plate and the copper armlet, but I'm going to find both of those in the next dungeon, so... I need two copper armlets for my mages, so I'm probably going to buy one right now. And the iron shield, the leather cap, and the helmet I bought off screen while I was leveling up. Just to save a little bit of time, and plus I was dying a little bit. Ignore the item shop for now, because you're not going to have enough money. Well, at least I'm not going to have any money after all this. And fourth level magic, I am going to buy haste. Haste is going to be awesome later on. Well, it's going to be awesome here pretty soon, actually. Yeah. And then one more white magic. Spell. Asuna. Now, I'm not a big fan of Asuna in this game because all it does is cure poison, and in other Final Fantasy games it'll cure um, all status ailments, which it's much more useful for that. But, uh, you know, I digress. Now that I think about it, I don't, I'm not even sure if there is a spell in this one that'll cure all status elements. I'd have to look that up, but I don't think there is. Huh. I just decided to get uh, Asuna now because it would save me a lot of uh, money in the future. Not having to buy antidotes every time I got poisoned. Because resting in an inn won't cure your poison. You almost have to buy ant antidotes if you don't have a Suna. I forgot that magic shops won't allow you to sell stuff, so I had to run back down here. All 
right, and I think I am ready to continue on. But before I go, I'm gonna stop at this castle here and see what's all what's going on in the castle. The Elven Castle. Astaroth's curse has placed our prince into a deep sleep and nothing seems to wake him from it. Astaroth stormed in one day, cast the curse on our prince and emptied our, all of our castle's treasure vaults. Astaroth cast a curse on our prince five years ago, causing him to fall into a deep slumber. Five years? What can lift this curse? Huh, five years. And here we are, we just got here, and we're probably going to be the one to save him. Because that's just how fantasies go. Fantasy stories. Alright, let's keep going. Western Keep. Wonder what's going on here. Astros has taken all that belonged to this castle. Please go to the cave. Please go to the cave in the Southern Marsh to find the crown. Only the crown can restore this castle. <clears throat> Alright, so it looks like Astros is pretty much responsible for the destruction of this castle and the, what, the curse he placed on the Prince of the Elven Castle.
all the time I have for this video. But I will see you guys next time when I explore the Marsh Cave. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy.